Senator, I want to I want to thank you for allowing me the opportunity to to co-sponsor this. I think it's a very important piece of legislation. Uh, you know, it only makes sense for uh, our men and women of the military that's been driving these trucks. Let's say Afghanistan, Iraq, for uh, maybe several years in some instances that that uh, we we at least give the Department of Revenue the ability to waive their. Um, uh, you know, requirements of doing this CDL basic skills test when we know that they can handle it. So I, I think it's a good bill. You know, here in Missouri, one, I always like to say this because the trucking industry is huge and we're needing some more drivers. Uh, one in 16 workers actually work in the trucking industry in the state of Missouri. One in 16 of workers in Missouri that are employed work for the trucking industry. And uh, it's a good paying job, and our veterans need some good paying jobs when they come out of the military. Right. And, uh, you know, Fort Leonard Woods, my, my, my district, and uh, right there on the, you know, I-44 trucking corridor, halfway between St. Louis and Springfield, it, it just makes sense. And, and I think it will allow uh, uh, Missouri to, or, or hopefully uh, get Missouri to retain more of these people that are maybe uh, rotating out of the military, retiring. Uh, you know, it, it just helps them and it helps us too because once they're out then they become taxpayers in Missouri and, and exactly uh, right. everybody wins. Well, I appreciate all the good work you do and the previous senator from Phelps did a lot of good work down yeah. around. <laughs> so thank you very much. <laughs>